Welcome back folks, one and all, to Let's Play Space Quest 2, Volhall's Revenge! Where are we? This place is amazing. Beautiful subterranean waterfalls and cascades drop before you, filling the air with billions and billions of tiny misty droplets which tickle the cilia. The air is thick with a revitalizing humid freshness. This message is also getting a little thick. <laughs> Let's swim. Now, there are a number of ways you can die here, and I will show you both. Hmm. The first one is easy. When you go this way, and there are two passageways that we can take. Well, the first thing we need to do is save. Yes, I know what an auto save is. I'm not using it in this game. You're swimming in the swiftly moving river of the underground water in the underground river. The river forks in the back of the cave. The glow from the water softly illuminates the room. Let's go left! Da 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 da! Nothing could go wrong here! Ah! Let's look! You are in an underground chamber. This area seems a little alive with the sight and sound of falling water. You don't detect much noise at all coming from the back of the cave. Why? PANIC! Oh god! I'm gonna fall! Oh god! Oh god! Help me! Splat. After crooning off the pair of a pair of rock outcroppings, you find a final resting place at the base of the falls. Another senseless strategy. We're dead. Now, the easy way to die here is just to wait. You're growing quite weary swimming against the currents. You can no longer continue swimming due to exhaustion. You slip beneath the surface. And we are dead! That is another way to die. Fortunately, we are smart and we are going to go right. As you enter another of the mysterious subterranean caverns, you realize that the water is now racing towards a giant whirlpool in the middle of an area. You are caught in the strong current, powerless to alter your course. Help me! I'm gonna die! No, help me, help me, help me! Well, thanks for playing Space Quest 4. Your body is sucked down until finally you're able to resist no more. It must yield to the overwhelming force. Oh look, we are safe! <laughs> Jeez, that was quite a trip. Peeking around, you find yourself back in the open again. You're in a pool. It is fed by a waterfall which spews from a strange rock face. An actual face. An ugly one at that. It carved in, is carved in the rock. It must be hundreds of years old. Let's get out of the water. <laughs> now here we are. Look! You're in the little clearing which is surrounded by large boulders and an impenetrable brush. There is water, in which you entered, at the bottom left. You can just see a landing platform in the distance. Now, how do we solve this? If you didn't bring the Labian te If you didn't mail the Labian Terror whistle, Labby and Terror Whistle back all the way back at the beginning of the game, nearly. You can't do this. Use Whistle. You get the whistle with Toot. It makes an odd sound. You hear an incredible whirring and grinding sound coming from the north. Definitely not copyright infringing. Suddenly, a Labby and Terror Beast buzzes into a room like a tornado. It looks like you could do as much damage as one. I'll just stand here. Nothing's good. Oh, God, my face! Well, ain't that a hoot. The guy reduced you to a multicolored mound of coleslaw matter. Better than a Murpho Slicomatic. Murpho Slicomatic. You are dead, however. Way to go, we nut. You are very much dead. Use whistle. Smart thing to do is to stay in the water. You'll just been around for a long time. How do we stop him? Oh, guys, did you pick up that Rubik's Cube? The Cubic's Rube from the beginning of the game? No? Well, then you can't complete the game anymore! Yeah, yeah that's right. Throw Cubic's Rube at Beast. No. Come 
can't do it from the... Ah! You chuck the cubic root puzzle over to the beast. The beast appears interested in your offering. Curiosity gets the better of him and he reaches down for it. He seems quite perplexed by the puzzling plastic polyhedron. Ah! That'll keep him busy. Oh! Also! Um, look rock here? The rocks of this region are all grey and fairly rounded. There appears to be nothing of interest in them. Can we take a rock? You pick up a small rock generated during the Terror Beast's grand entrance. You need that, by the way! You need that. Ah! Look! You're in a small clearing. Before you stands a large elevated platform. Much like the one you were landed on when arriving on this planet. On one leg of the platform is an elevator door. A guard patrols the mid-level. Ah! A guard! Greet guard! Talk to guard! You call out a universal expletive! Oops! The being fires in the general direction of the sound. Unfortunately, that appears to be where you are. You know the rest. Whoopsie daisies! You died. Now, let's move up to this one. Over here. Let's get shot! Let's get shot! Oops! Dang! Allowing the guard to observe you was not very swift. He has disassembled you, probably adding a little excitement to his otherwise dull day. And we are dead once again! Ah, oh, this video is full of them. Oops! There's one more death we can do here. That's quite fun. All we need to do is wait for the guard. Aha! Very cunningly, we are now here. You'll notice I haven't saved yet. There's a reason for that. That's probably why. However, that's not the reason. The reason why is because we're going to enter that elevator. Surely nothing can go wrong there. Mm -hmm. Right, we will save as use elevator. Why? Because the elevator is definitely going to work. It's not going to work. I know you can enter into that. Okay. How do you solve this? Hey guys, do you remember that athletic supporter you got with the cubic rube? Yeah, if you hadn't got the cubic rube and the athletic supporter, you can't complete the game. Throw rock at guard. Yeah. Better get myself shot. No, it's not get myself shot. Let's go to a throw rock at guard. You throw the rock in the direction of the guard. Unfortunately, it falls well short of its target. The guard responds by firing in the direction he thought it came from. If you think it's going to hit me, you're absolutely right. Doesn't that bite? The guard caught a glimpse when you shot the rock and with impressive accuracy, wasted you. Now, remember that athletic... No, not that one. Remember that athletic supporter we have? How about we sling the rock at the guard? You cleverly use the athletic supporter to sling the rock at the guard. 
It makes serious contact with the side of its head. We like the way you think. He drops like a lead parakeet. The ripe thud of the impact is momentarily sickening. He is perfectly still. Excellent. He's dead. Now his keycard is ours. I presume he has a keycard. You find nothing. Oh. Aha! What we do here is we use the keycard in the slot. However, I can now do that because I remember what to do here. figure it out and I will be back. Until then folks, until then, I'll see you later.